This is my indoor aquaponics. This system uses fish to grow vegetables and amuse my dog. All right, amusing my dog was not the main point. Now this is a brand new beginning. Uh, you got to remember that it's March. All right, we're still early. This right here is my uh, radishes with a few turnips thrown in there, and they have come up nicely. These are some of my starts, and this is a little batch of cucumbers. They're doing well. Uh, actually, uh, I even have some secondary leaves on them. So they are coming along nicely. Not nearly as happy with my lettuce so far. Uh, I will probably try yet another planting. I've only got one lonely tomato to come up. But uh, they may take a little longer to come up, but I will fire up on them again. As you see, I've also got a simple channel system here. Uh, I'm going to try to put some broccoli, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts in that system. This will hold 36 plants. But uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to put them all that tightly together. I may skip one or every other one, something like that. But I, I'm going to definitely put some in here and then probably run a net to keep them together. Uh, something for them to grow into for support. Um, before I get too far over there, I've got uh, a couple of 400-watt uh, metal halides providing my light. That's 800 watts of metal halide. That's not a huge draw. I mean, wow, 800 watts, that's not quite a microwave. And uh, certainly not what people run in the heat in the winter. You see that little raft right there? That raft is going to hold my lettuce when it comes up, and it's going to float loose in here. running goldfish. I bought these as little feeder fish. They were a quarter a piece when I got them and probably no more than you know half an inch to an inch long and uh, they have been in my 55 gallon drum aquaponic system outdoor and they survived the winter just fine with a small heater uh, and uh, I insulated the beds. I tried to rope you know, do some winter kale, but we had some real cold snap up here that just eventually killed everything plant-wise, so it's time to start planting in the outdoor aquaponic system soon, too. But uh, these guys have gotten pretty big. Some of them are six to eight inches long now. I've got one of them that's probably eight inches counting his tail. The rest of them are close to five and six. Not bad for feeders. I'm curious what they'll look like at the end of this year. Uh, my raft, as you see, it's got some simple net cups in it, and inside those net cups, I'm going to be placing my uh, lettuce, and it's going to float freely in my uh, tank here. This tank uh, will hold, uh, I think it'll hold 50 or 55 gallons at least. I'm probably keeping a little less than that in it, plus it does have some evaporation. Biggest thing's keeping the dog out of it. Hey, what are you doing in there? Mm -hmm. You know better than that. So uh, I do have a thermometer in here for you know it's March, so upstairs it's a little cold. Uh, now that it's starting to warm up, I've backed off on the heater and actually turned on the air conditioning. And uh, I'm going to try to keep this room at 80 degrees. 80 should be fine. The metal halides, I mean, 800 watts of heat will definitely warm your room up after a while. So, uh, Are my vegetables going to be cheap? No, they're not. They're going to be more expensive than going to the local grocery store because I'm running lights and an air conditioner. But they're going to be mine and they're going to be organic, they're going to be aquaponic, and they're going to be tasty. <laughs> 
I've so far liked everything that's been grown in aquaponics that I've eaten so far, and uh, I don't have a lot of light outside at this area, at this location, so I'm going to definitely be uh, trying my hand at the indoor. I at least have control over the indoor. I've just got a new order of seeds in from uh, Baker Creek. I've ordered most of my heirloom seeds from them. And uh, I'm going to stick mostly with heirloom. Uh, there has been a handful of seeds that are non-hybrid that I have bought off the shelf that were, uh, I forget, Ferguson or something like that. Anyhow, it's uh, whatever Wally World's been carrying here lately. Uh, a well-known uh, seed company. Not Burpee, though. But they're non-hybrid. You know, not everything in the world's hybrid. And I'm going to... And the only thing I bought that was non-hybrid, that did not come from Baker Creek, that was heirloom, was some spices. And I'm going to grow them outside in the dirt. They're, they're low light enough to survive just fine. So, I'm uh, curious how this experiment's going to be. Uh, I can I got 36 sites on my channels here. I don't, I don't have my pump set up yet. I got to throw my pump in there and there'll be a hose going in the end of each one of these. The water will flow through the channel across the roots and drop right back out and be recirculating continuously, just like this one. I've got a pump down here. That pump is pumping continuously through this hose and coming out right there. And of course it floods the bottom, drains back down an outlet. So that's pretty much aquaponics. In a nutshell, using the fish poop, it gets broke down by bacteria into nitrite and then into nitrate. The nitrate is still uh, toxic to the fish, so the nitrate gets pumped into your plants, and your plants use the nitrate to grow and pumps it back cleaner than what you put it in. And the bacteria that you use to break that down gets inoculated into your grow medium, which in my case in this thing has been hydrotons and pure light, and uh, that's that. I will continuously uh, be checking my numbers though with a test kit, and if any time the uh, nitrogen gets too high, or if my nitrite and nitrate get too high, which meaning my plants aren't breaking it down properly, then I will indeed turn around and uh, give me an, ex an external filter. Well, all right, YouTube, that's all I got for you on the aquaponics.